Well, I haven't made a video for a while, a specimen preparation video. I've been fixing up some old insect drawers, and so I thought I'd make a video about how I do that. Um, these two are very old. This was the first set of Cornell drawers I made by kit, from a kit from BioClip 40 years ago. And um, they're looking pretty rough, so I'm going to show you how to uh, restore them. I sand them down and refinish them. And this one is um, a box that I built with, instead of the hardboard bottom that's in here, see it's this wood, this is like a ceiling tile that you can pin into. But I really don't like this as much. It's quite a bit heavier. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you these drawers before I start prepping them and to show you step by step how I refinish them and uh, you get pretty good results. So we'll, we'll see how to do that. Uh, the first thing we have to do is um, uh, mask off the glass because we're going to be sanding on this and uh, we want to protect the glass. So I'll get some like advertising newspaper uh, and lay it out like this and then I'll use masking tape to seal it around the edges. And that's just to protect the glass um, from all of the work I'm going to do. And then I'll fold this newspaper over so that it fits in there. So you can see I've got the paper folded so it fits the space. And I want a little bit of glass showing all the way around the edge to hold the tape. And then I'll just take a couple pieces of tape to hold these two sheets of paper in place so they don't move around. So now I'll take a piece of tape, measure it out to about the right length, and I put the edge up against the edge here. Now I use a razor blade I'll use this piece to hold down the two pieces of paper where they join. And then take the back of the razor blade. I take the razor blade and just run it along the edge so that it's sealed nice and tight up against there. Spin it around and do the next side. Make it a little bit longer. So I can trim the ends up nice and square. sealed off. All right, so I'm going to start. This is a uh, Makita uh, electric sander. 
you really have to have one of these to do this job because it takes forever to do by hand. And I've got different grades of sandpaper here. I'm going to start with pretty coarse um, 120. And then I'm going to move on to 150 and then finish with 220. Um, these two of these drawers are really old and the wood's pretty rough and so I want to use a coarse sandpaper to make it quicker. Uh, also, there's some polyurethane in here and it tends to clog up the paper. So I just want to start with coarse. If it was a box that wasn't uh, in such poor shape, you could start with uh, like 150 or something like that, not quite so coarse. Also, I always use a face mask when I'm using uh, sanding for wood. The wood dust is really not good for you, um, so this helps a lot. See, it looks much better already. And then I need to do the top as well, this part. Much better. All right, so I got a pretty good result with the coarser sandpaper. So I'm going to skip the medium and go right to the fine. Uh, want 220, and uh, go over that just to smooth that down, make it nice and smooth. And then I'm also going to, when I'm finished, I'm going to go quick over the corners and the edges just to smooth this down a little bit, make it look a little better.
Now there's a lot of dust from this that gets inside, so I just have a brush and I clean it all off. I want all that dust out of there for when I put polyurethane on the outside. I don't want it to trap all that dust. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a transformation. Okay. All right, so now with the uh, the fine sanding, it came out really nice, nice and smooth. The last thing we have to do is sanding this edge. Of course, didn't get sanded, so I have to do that by hand. Let's take a piece of um, sandpaper, fold it. Usually, I fold it into three, like this. And then I can just go along that edge and clean it up. And it actually cleans up pretty quickly, especially in the corner. If you don't do this, in the end it's going to show, look a little different. There, you can see it cleans right up. All right, the next step is we're going to spray this with polyurethane. So I want to wipe it down and get all the dust off of it. You don't want to spray polyurethane on the dust. It'll just trap the dust in little clumps. Okay, and you can use any kind of polyurethane. I use uh, Rust-Oleum Clear. Uh, it's good stuff. So shake it up really well, and then we'll spray it. I usually like to do two two or three coats. We'll let it dry for, you know, ten minutes between. All right, now we'll do a second coat. All right, well, those two coats seem to have really soaked in, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more. Alright, now that the finish has dried, it's a little bit rough, so I'm going to take some uh, fine sandpaper, this is 1500 wet dry, and uh, just go over it lightly, just smooth it down, yeah, makes it much smoother. And then uh, to finish it up, I use a little bit of wood finish, liquid gold, to spray it on the paper towel. And go 
over the surface. See, it gives it a nice luster. And then if you were going to um, reattach the hardware, you could screw the hardware back on, card holder. Um, this drawer I'm not going to do that with because I'm going to make it into a wall hanging. So we're going to leave the hardware off. And that's it. You take a drawer that's really looking pretty crappy and make it look pretty much new again. Now, the last thing you have to do is remove this paper and uh, trim, uh, clean off the glass around the edges. Let's take a razor blade. Yeah, there might be a little bit of uh, spray in there, so I'll take a razor blade and clean up the edge.